So guys, recently we have upgraded our air conditioner to a heat pump or a reverse cycle air conditioner. So these air conditioners heat the room up during winters and of course cool during summers. But how does a heat pump air conditioner actually work? Well, stay tuned because in this video I will try and explain how does a heat pump or a reverse cycle air conditioner works in layman terms without going into the technical details. So let's start with the basics. Every air conditioner has two parts. The unit outside is called the condensing unit which is the one that you are looking at and inside the condensing unit there is a compressor and a heat exchanger which is called the condenser. I will explain why this is called the condenser later in the video. And this picture is from an old cooling only air conditioner but I thought it was quite interesting to look at. And the one inside the room is called the evaporator. This contains a second heat exchanger called the evaporator and a blower fan. You also must keep in mind that the evaporator is on the low pressure side and the condenser is on the high pressure side. This pressure gradient is essential for the refrigerant to change its phase. We're now gonna go into the technical detail of phase change and the latent heat. So we're gonna keep it simple. Now this is a mini split system but it's pretty much the same concept for every type of air conditioner. Now you may ask, how does an air conditioner work? First off, it's a common misconception that air conditioners generate cold air. Well, they don't. In very simple words, an air conditioner works by moving heat energy from one side to the other via a refrigerant. So when an air conditioner is cooling the room down, it's essentially removing the heat energy from the room and moving it to the outside. So before we proceed any further, let me give you a quick explanation on how the refrigeration cycle works. You see, at the heart of every air conditioner is the compressor, which compresses the refrigerant gas and under pressure, the gas heats up. This hot high pressure refrigerant gas goes to the condenser coil, which removes its heat. And as the refrigerant loses its heat, it condenses and turns into a liquid. This is exactly why this heat exchanger is called the condenser. Now the cooled off refrigerant still under high pressure goes through an expansion valve which creates a pressure gradient. And as the cooled off liquid refrigerant enters the low pressure side or the indoor unit which is the evaporator, it expands and starts boiling. And as it boils, it absorbs huge quantities of heat energy and in doing so it turns into a gas. This is why the indoor unit's heat exchanger is called the evaporator. It evaporates the liquid refrigerant. So after absorbing all the heat energy from inside of your room, the liquid refrigerant turns back into gas. And now this gas goes back into the compressor and the refrigeration cycle starts all over again. And this particular air conditioner uses R32 refrigerant which boils at minus 51 degrees Celsius. Yes, that is pretty cold. So now that you know the basics of refrigeration cycle, let me try and explain how a heat pump works. So this is when the air conditioner is running in cool mode during summers. The indoor unit, which is called the evaporator, blows cold air. And you can see that on the infrared thermometer, the temperature of the air coming out is nearly zero degrees Celsius. And the outdoor unit, which is called the condenser, blows hot air. The temperature of the air coming out of the condenser is at about 54 degrees Celsius. This is also how a regular cooling only air conditioner works. Now in a reverse cycle unit or a heat pump, the same refrigeration cycle essentially reverses. This is done with the help of a reversing valve which is inside the outdoor unit. So now the hot gas which comes out of the compressor goes straight into the indoor unit's heat exchanger instead of the outdoor unit. And now the indoor unit becomes the condenser and blows hot air and the temperature of the air coming out of the indoor unit is almost 45 degrees Celsius and that feels nice and warm during the cold winter months. Meanwhile, the outdoor unit turns into the evaporator and blows cold air. You can see that the temperature of the air coming out is at about 10 degrees Celsius. So what's happening is that the air conditioner is absorbing the heat energy from the outside and moving it to the inside of the room. So this is how you get heat when the air conditioner is running in heat mode during winters. 
and for some reason a lot of people think that the compressor runs in reverse when you run the air conditioner in heat mode. Well that is not true, the compressor runs normally, the reversing valve is the one that reverses the flow of refrigerant. So this is how you get heat from the indoor unit, there is also no heating element. So in very simple words, it's an air conditioner with its refrigeration cycle reversed. Now you may ask, how is the heat pump able to absorb heat from the outside when it is already so cold? For a moment, take a look at your freezer or your refrigerator. Even though the insides of the freezer is very cold, about negative 8 degrees Celsius, but the refrigerator's heat pump is still able to remove heat from the inside and move it to the outside. So even though it's like negative 8 degrees Celsius inside, there is still heat that can be absorbed by the refrigerant. This is because the boiling point of the refrigerant is extremely low even lower than that of the insides of the freezer which is at negative 8 degrees celsius. So there is still heat inside the freezer that the refrigerant can absorb and move it to the outside. This is exactly how our heat pump works. Our heat pump is also in a similar situation. Even though it is cold outside, the refrigerant is still able to absorb heat because the boiling point of the refrigerant is much lower than that of the ambient temperature even during winters. So this is how a heat pump air conditioner is able to absorb heat from the outside and move it to the inside of your room when you run this in heat mode. Extremely simple working principle. Alright, so I hope that gives you a rough idea of how these hot and cold air conditioners or heat pumps work. We're not gonna go into the technical details of how the refrigerant works or the concept of latent heat because we wanna keep this video short and simple. So thank you for watching, stay tuned for more videos like these and I will see you guys next time.